Reports. There are various reports in the MindSpark teacher interface for you as teachers to monitor student progress and also get an idea about the misconceptions or learning gaps in students. One of the important report is the student wise report. This report gives an overall view about the performance of the students of a particular class. In order to access this report, please select the class and section for which you wish to see the report and also the dates for which you want to see the report. Click on Show Topics Attempted if you also wish to see the topic list attempted by the students. And then click on Generate. The student wise report gives the overall performance of the class student wise. It has details such as the number of days logged in by the students, the total time the students have spent on working on MindSpark, the total questions attempted, the percentage correct, the average time taken to answer each question, and the topics attempted. Along with this, they also give basic other information like the challenge questions, namely the CQ, the practice questions attempted by the students, the time tests taken by the students, the number of activities, the NCRT exercises if attempted, and the number of sparkies won by the students. In order to view all the topics attempted by the students, please click on the plus sign for expanding. Once you click on the expansion sign, you can see all the topics attempted by a particular student. You can click on any of these fields which are underlined or hyperlinked to sort the data in ascending or descending order. This report will also give you details about any student answering very quickly and having a higher error percentage which will be highlighted in pink. This table is also downloadable in Excel. Let us take the topic progress report. The topic progress report is a report which gives you an idea about the progress of each topic of your class. For this, please select the class and the topic for which you want to see the progress of your class. The green bar here indicates the topic progress of a particular student in that particular topic. This report also gives insights on the total questions attempted by the student, the percentage correct, the total time taken to answer the questions. The black arrow here indicates the level at which the student is currently working on MindSpark. In order to know the progress, just take your mouse to that arrow and you will be able to view the current position as well as the learning unit on which the student is currently working on. In order to view a detail-wise trail of the student and the questions the student has attempted and answered, please click on the student name. Once you click on the student name, select the topic for which you wish to see the trail and click on show questions. All the questions displayed here are the questions which the student has answered. If you want to see the misconception questions, please click on show only wrong answers. This student trail or this particular report helps you get an idea about the misconceptions in the student. Let us go back to home and proceed further. The next is the common wrong answer report. This report gives you an idea about the most common misconception amongst majority of your students in your class. Please select the relevant class and the topic for which 
you want to see the common wrong answers. This particular report also gives you data about the number of students who have got this question, namely the distinct students, the correct attempts on this question and the percentage correct. It will also give you details about the student who's got this question but has been unable to answer it correctly. For example, the student who never got this particular type of question correct is demo 3. By clicking on next, you can view another question of the similar concept. This common wrong answer report can be used at worksheets as it is also in downloadable format. You can download this and clicking on download.